our pits and speeds smoker is uh, stable at uh, 275 degrees and uh, we are ready to do another cook on uh, the pellet cooker here we're gonna show you guys how to make a uh, Texas style short rib with a uh, little bit of SNP love also a little LA riff to show you guys how we cook a LA style short rib with a little bit of my uh, first place USA moolah beef rub and a little bit of an ingredient that uh, is very popular in LA. So please join me on this episode as we cook on the Pits and Spits Maverick 1250 pellet cooker. Ready to go at 275 degrees, folks. I have a beautiful beef short rib here, Choice Great Angus. And the beef short rib comes from the front part of the uh, cow. Uh, this is different than the back rib. The short rib, which is the front plate, has a lot more meat, like so. Great marbling. There's nothing much you need to do with it. You can cook it as is. But what I like to try to do is I like to trim some of this uh, fat off the and the fascia, which is the silver skin. Because uh, if you don't do this, then the uh, rub is not going to be able to touch the protein and it's going to be on the fat. So when the fat burns off, all the seasoning falls off. So uh, if you like, you can go ahead and trim it like I do. If you don't want to, it's also fine. If you're running a, kind of like a restaurant, it, it, it is kind of be cost prohibitive labor wise to pay somebody to do this. But if you're at home and you have time, I highly recommend you trim off the silver skin and the fat and the fascia so that your rub will stick to the uh, meat a lot better gives it a lot much better flavor I'm gonna season one Texas style and uh, one with my moolah rub it's a little bit of a schmear get the rub to stick now, people always ask me, Harry, do you need to remove the membrane of your beef short rib? The answer is no, because the membrane is really thick. You don't really eat the back part of the meat here. So we leave the membrane on. It kind of helps to keep the short rib whole so it won't fall apart when you're cooking it. All right, let's get some SMP on. This is 50% pepper, 50% salt. You can add a little bit of celery seed also if you like, that's optional. And a little bit of white pepper to kind of spike it up a little bit. But I'm just going to keep this one simple. And on this one, I'm going to put my first place USA beef rub. It's won me a first place national award on the brisket, KCBS, Ranches Reserve. Nice even coat of it. All right, now I'm going to add a little bit of LA style. A little bit of tahin. This is uh, basically citrus powder together with some chili and some salt. And this is a very common condiment found in Los Angeles. Has a fantastic flavor. It gives everything kind of a little bit of a nice zing to the meat. I lo I love it on barbecue. Works really well. And uh, we cook. You can cook brisket, tri tip. You can even cook chicken with tahin. It's a great for a michelada, which is a drink. Uh, also, on if you have it on like a uh, mango, watermelon, it's all great. And you can find this pretty much in any Walmart around America. All right, ready to go. Let's put it in the pit. The Pits and Spits uh, Maverick 1250 is running at a constant 275. Oh, I wanted to point out that the nice folks at uh, Pits and Spits, Koi, sent me a new uh, topper for the uh, kind of the chimney got dashed up a little bit during the uh, delivery process. So no biggie, apparently I'm supposed to drill out the uh, rivets and uh, just uh, you get a riveter and rivet the uh, new cap back on. So no harm, no foul. Fantastic uh, customer service uh, from the folks at Pits and Spits. 
not only did they send me this demo unit, but they took care of making sure that any damage during the shipping process was handled right away. They shipped this pretty much overnight to me. So if you see this little chimney topper being bashed up, so don't worry, I'm gonna figure out how to get this piece back on. A couple of thoughts about the uh, pit and spits. It has a really great large cooking area. So I, you know me, I'm always a very, uh, you know, cost efficient and process efficient, aka cheap and lazy. So what I'm gonna do is I put some half four pans underneath it. You can buy this from a restaurant supply store. I have a whole stack of them here. So I hate to clean my pits. So this is what I use to make sure that I catch all the drippings. That way I don't have a problem cleaning up uh, later on when I cook my food. So our ribs are ready, nicely seasoned. This is the Texas style. Place it right here. You can pretty much place it anywhere because the pits and spits it just cooks really evenly. If you saw my part one and you saw my evenness burn test, uh, it's pretty much even across 80 to 80 to 90 percent of the cooking surface here. We'll put in the uh, my uh, mula style. We have short ribs going two ways in the pits and spits Maverick 1250. Beef short ribs are beautifully cooked. It took about uh, about eight hours total, low and slow, at around 225. Let, let me slice this one up. This is one done with the Slappy Daddy rub. Absolutely gorgeous. See that? Got the one with the salt and pepper, Texas style. Super moist and tender. And don't worry so much about the internal temperature. Just go ahead and probe it. And once it's super soft and juicy, it's done. See here? Absolutely juicy and gorgeous. See the juices flowing? Absolutely beautiful. Now for the moment of truth, let's give it a taste test here. Try the Texas style first. All right, let's try the Texas style one first. Absolutely gorgeous, super juicy and moist. Take a bite. Salty, beefy, just a perfect blend of smoke, salt, pepper. It's a great tasting short rib here. Let's try the one. You step your daddy, drop. Here you go. Mm -mm -mm. Also, very good. Uh, using a competition rub gives you a slightly different flavor. Then a salt of pepper. This one has hints of garlic, uh, taste of paprika, a little bit of chili, just a hit of sweetness. So whether you like a uh, kind of a Texas style salt and pepper, or you like a competition style short rib, regardless of how you cook it, if you have good technique, a good pit, good quality smoke, a nice draft, and some good technique, you can recreate this wonderful beef short rib heaven in your backyard. So enough of me talking, let's see if Mr. Beans wants to taste some of these beef short rib morsels of beef heaven. All right, let's give Mr. Beans a couple of pieces here. All right, Beans, we're gonna have some uh, beef short rib here. here we go. You like it? Good job, Beans. Excellent. I think you like beef short ribs here. Thanks for stopping by, watching my Pits and Spits Maverick 1250 cook. 
on the beef short rib. So it cooks a mean beef short rib and it's a fantastic overall cooker. If you ever try cooking on the Maverick 1250 pellet cooker, I highly suggest you try it. The beef short rib were absolutely, absolutely amazing. Again, kudos and shout out to the folks at Pits and Spits for sending me a demo unit. Until the next video, we will see ya. Looking forward to spending more time cooking more fantastic meats on the Pits and Spits Maverick cooker.